Hey guys, Matt the eBay seller here. Here is men's clothing, primarily men's at least, that you can sell on eBay for money. Got this all from one Goodwill, close to my apartment. This was five bucks. Talk about this brand from time to time. It's Brixton. Here is the real tag. I pick up pretty much everything I find from them. In my experience, the shorts sell quicker than the shirts. They make all kinds of stuff. Champion stuff, if it's contemporary, don't buy it. But if it's vintage, definitely do buy it. This is a lightweight sweater or heavy long sleeve shirt, five bucks. And it has a couple little dookie spots on it. Hopefully that will wash out. Let's see, uh, it was basically 135 bucks in total. It was 149 minus a couple of gifts for people that I won't show. Okay. This is a women's piece. It's a sort of a polka dot sweater, crew neck sweater. That's a pattern that will be a little tricky to describe. It's not quite dots, they're little squares or rectangles. Here's the brand, Marine Layer. Oftentimes, you will see the other tag, which is bigger, it has a sunset on it. Sometimes it's just this tag. Marine Layer stuff sells quite, quite well. And for decent money, seven bucks. Here is, I think, a women's vest with a wool back and it's smart wool. So this was in a recent What's Sold video and a haul video that were very, very close together and very close together because smart, smart wool is one of the fastest selling brands that I find. I've only found maybe three pieces of it ever and they all just sell right away within a week. So this was five bucks and it is in close to perfect condition. Don't know how much these will ultimately sell for exactly. Vince, my phone is being very, very slow. So I'm just kind of winging it, not looking everything up. I don't know what the proper keyword for this is. Obviously it's another women's piece. It's got a, droop on the front seven bucks it's stretchy this is j crew you know the tag j crew 70 percent down men's quilted puffer vest so puffer because it's puffy and quilted means these cross hatches like this, the diamonds, the, the, um, um, the diamonds. That's quilted, men's extra small. Got it for $8. Another J Crew piece. This is a women's. I think this was half off. It is a cotton linen blend. Yeah, half off of 10 bucks, so this was five bucks, and it's got that kind of mod style interior. J. Crew pieces typically will have reference numbers on the tags that make them relatively easy to look up, unlike a lot of clothing brands where you have to just wing it in terms of keywords. This is a new brand to me. I've actually found it a few times and I never pulled the trigger on it because, sorry, at the time when I ran the numbers, I didn't like what I saw, but I ran them again and the numbers looked great. So I don't know what I was thinking. It was probably a different time of year when I did look it up and maybe I was just wrong. Seven bucks, that's an important point. If you've been reselling for a while, as I have, and you have it in your head that something isn't worth money, if you have another voice in your head that says, 
maybe it is, then probably good to listen to that because um, you could have been dumb when you formed that opinion in the first place. This is a, I know I said that I do mostly men's, but this is apparently mostly women's. This is a women's 2XL Cabela's shirt. That's Cabela's. And this is a Southwestern Aztec geometric cowboy shirt. All of those keywords are relevant. It's kind of a tricky one to pinpoint. Graphic, I, would, I will put graphic in the title too. Six bucks. This is a Levi's piece. Levi's real hit or miss. But this has a lot going for it. It's a men's medium plaid flannel pearl snap western shirt in a good color. And it's got these weird flattened oversized buttons. Let me see if I can give you a sense. That's an unusual snap button. And it's con, well it's convex there, but it's it's got a raised edge. So metal buttons, weird buttons. Oh, and it's slim fit, even better. So a lot of stuff going on there, seven bucks. This will probably sell between 20 and 25. With most men's shirts, I'm just trying to double my money and do it quickly. Same with this one. This is a J. Crew flannel, plaid flannel. The J. Crew flannels that say flannel on them typically sell quite quickly, as long as it's not in the dead heat of summer. Purple and gray, solid piece, seven bucks, same deal. Just doubling my money there. And again, this is a Levi's plaid flannel pearl snap shirt. This is a gingham plaid. I'm calling that gingham plaid when it's these um, equal sized squares that are tiled. That's gingham plaid. And it's a really thick fabric. This is almost like a jacket. So thick, soft plaid flannel. This is gonna sell for minimum 25, maybe closer to 30, 35. Depends on my mood and if I want to take best offers. I'll probably price this at I'll probably price it at 30. Because I don't want to hang on to this stuff forever. I do still tend to skew towards a quick flip. Salt Life, good brand, especially if you can find it new with tags, and especially, especially if you can find it for two bucks. It is a men's small with a graphic on the back. Salt Life is a surfing slash, I think it's fishing oriented, beach lifestyle type brand. This is a fishing brand, and I'm glad that I get to actually include this in a video because I always forget to talk about it. This is Huck, H-U-K. It says Huck Fishing on the back. This stuff, believe it or not, is really expensive and it's super in demand. I've only found it twice before and both times were in San Diego and I've never found it in LA. This is my first time finding it. So I'm excited about it. Two bucks. There are a handful of fishing brands. I'll show you another one in this haul somehow. Probably the same guy that donated these. There's some fishing brands when it comes to clothing that sell exceptionally well because they're oriented towards fishermen with money, which is definitely a very real, very visible in the market demographic, especially when it comes to fly fishing. Fly fishermen tend to have more money and they spend more money pointlessly on clothing, which we like. So here, let's just skip straight to that. This is the other one that I found. This is probably the best fishing brand that you can find. This is exactly what I'm talking about. It is a high dollar fly fishing oriented outdoors brand. Anything that you find from Sims, pick it up. As long as it's not waders, unless they're new. I've actually found Sims waders. Those are the big waterproof um, chest, basically overalls that fishermen wear. Um, if somebody has donated waders to a thrift store, it is virtually guaranteed that they leak and you need to test them, etc. But they are worth money if you can find them. 
uh, in really good condition. So Sims, and this is also worth knowing, you're probably not gonna see this on much clothing. It is a rod manufacturing company that is very, very high end. This is really bougie stuff, G. Loomis. And they, again, they do mostly fly fishing, but they do other kinds of fishing as well. And this is probably not useful information to you, but who knows? So Sims and it's got, I, I don't know what this is. Maybe this is a guide service skeleton crew. Got this for six bucks. This is gonna flip right away because of the G Loomis and the Sims and blah, blah, blah. Fly fishermen are conspicuous consumers. They love to show off brands and it's this whole, it's got its own aesthetic, uh, set of aesthetics to it. It's kind of funny. I'm gonna save that for last because it is the best. Unfamiliar with this brand, but this is 100% cashmere. If you find anything 100% cashmere, chances are it's going to be worth buying as long as it is not stained and as long as it does not have holes. Cashmere stuff, even more than other kinds of wool, you need to take a very, very close look at because people know that it's worth money. So if it went, if it is ending up in a thrift store, chances are it probably has a hole in it because people don't want to let go of their cashmere stuff. So take it up to the brightest light source that you can find and hold it up like this. Scan it, scan it, scan it. I've done this in another video, but I'll demo it again because it's visually amusing. So I do the, uh, well, typically I'll do this first. I'll do the collar first like that, looking for holes, and then flip it around. I'll get as much of the fabric as possible in my line of view like this. And then you need to check this area up here along the shoulders and the chest. And the most reliable way to do that is to put this over your head and hold the fabric out in kind of a panel type orientation. Just get as much of a flat view of the fabric as possible. And then go in and look closely at the sleeves. You can't do that trick with the sleeves because it's two ply. So if there's a hole, it's gonna be obscured. So what I recommend is just inch by inch, look really, really carefully and stretch the fabric a little bit. Don't distend it to the point where it's distorted, but stretch it out a little bit because that will reveal holes. Check both sides. And very important, check the um, cuffs and check the hem. Because a lot of times that's where a hole will hide. They'll be in, in weird, hard to spot places a lot of the times if you don't spot them right away. So this actually, this brand ended up, the cashmere stuff being in high demand, unsurprisingly. So I'll probably get around 30 for that. Just another cashmere piece. This is what's called a cowl neck sweater. It's like a giant turtleneck. This is where the neck begins. And when you wear it, it, it folds down around your shoulders. Um, so here's the brand, it's Aqua Cashmere. Big brand, it turns out. I've seen this a couple times and I, I did run, run the numbers on my very slow phone. And this is a very, very well represented brand on eBay. It's pretty flooded, but the keywords here yielded some good results. There were a couple comps that sold for around 50. I don't think I'll hang on for 50 bucks. I'll probably flip that for 35, 40. This is another awesome brand. And this was in a video I did of buy on site brands. This is pronounced either Arcteryx or Arcteryx. I've typically heard Ar Arcteryx. And that is the emblem. And so weird little um, Archaeopteryx guy. I think that's probably exactly what it is. It's like a lizard bird skeleton thing. This is a snap button men's short sleeve plaid shirt. This will probably flip for 30, 35, and it's gonna flip right away. I have one up that hasn't sold, but I, I think it's because it's got a couple flaws with it and it has, it's really ugly looking, but this will flip immediately. Arcteric stuff, basically the second you list it, it's gone. And wouldn't you know it, look what I've found. Twice in one day, this has never happened to me. 
It's smart wool. It's a women's lightweight sweater. And it's got a cool pattern on it, herringbone pattern. Didn't find any holes, seven bucks, no brainer. Got really lucky. Again, probably the same person that donated both. Um, sorry, I'm just checking to see if I missed the bag. I think I got all of it. So this is, I already saw one of the salient features here. This is actually a ribbed cotton elbow patch. This is a wool sport coat. It's got that thing going on. I don't know if there's a term for this, this flap here. Two button gray wool sport coat from Hugo Boss. It's a Hugo Boss black label. Black labels are really common. It just means it's contemporary, it's recent, which is a selling point, kind of the opposite. Some, I'm learning, I get the feeling that with a lot of formal wear brands, uh, it's the opposite as with some other stuff where if it's older, it typically is worth more money. If it's more recent, it's more desirable to people. So it is a men's, what is it? Oh, extra slim RET, R-H-E-T-T -T, jacket. And I didn't look this up. It cost 10 bucks. Let's see, it's a wool blend. It's wool, polyester, polyamide, and silk, and viscose, and elastane. So there's a lot on the menu there. Probably realistically, we'll flip this for 50 or 60 just because Hugo Boss stuff is um, it's very abundant on eBay. A lot of supply. This one I ended up getting for seven bucks because it was missing a price tag and I think the cashier, um, well the cashier and I have like good rapport so I don't know if that any, had anything to do with it but I got it for seven bucks which is nice. So it's a, I'll just show you, show you the good part here. That's the vintage polo Ralph Lauren tag. Let's see if I can find the other one. Yeah, I think this is probably 80s. Not an expert. Made in USA. It is a plaid wool sport coat with neon stripes in it, which is really weird. Don't think I've ever seen this particular color scheme. It's a men's 40L. And I don't know what the, if there's a material composition on here, but it's, it's wool. Really cool. Don't know how much this is worth. I've seen some vintage Polo Ralph Lauren pieces along these lines sell for over 200 bucks. So not, not holding my breath on that, but definitely, I don't know, 50, 60 or more. Probably listed, I don't know. I'm just speculating at this point. Okay, so here's, here's the best piece of the day of the month, probably potentially one of my top five finds ever in my history as a reseller. I'll just show it to you. Check this shit out. Kuji, vintage, new with tags. I didn't even see this. I thought it was just the department store tag. It's got the full-blown Kuji tag on it. It is a men's XL polo shirt with Kuji on it and these dots. And in case there is any doubt of its authenticity, I still obviously will go through the process of um, looking up how to authenticate these. But the, um, if it'll focus here, it's got this tag underneath, which typically counterfeiters are not going to go through the trouble of putting in tags like this that are this uh, this complicated. This is from 2012. I don't know how much this is worth. Probably a lot. Probably, I'm not that familiar with the brand other than knowing that it's worth a bunch of money. I don't, I don't know. I'm not even going to guess a number. This is potentially multiple hundreds, maybe a hundred, maybe 80, 80 bucks. I don't know, but that has the potential to be worth a ton, ton, ton of money. And it's funny because 
I ran into another reseller at this Goodwill and we were chatting about, I don't know, our, our big misses in our careers. And I was just telling him about 10 minutes before I found this about how I remember finding a Kuji sweater at a thrift store when I was new to reselling at um, a Goodwill in San Diego and not buying it because it had like a little stain on it. Uh, you know, I've been kicking myself ever since. I've been thinking about that all day. And he told me a story about how he has a friend who found a Kuji sweater that was all warped and distended and messed up. And he bought it for 20 bucks from another reseller and they were all chastising him for making a mistake. And then he turned around and flipped it for 80 bucks, I think on Depop probably. So it was a weird serendipity that I ended up grabbing this, especially from a section that he had already browsed, I'm pretty sure. So I think there's there, there's a small lesson here, which is this was in a section of the shirts that I think a lot of people would probably skip the end of that rack that's mostly red and orange and yellow stuff. Um, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I tend to associate that. I, I usually have to make myself look through that stuff. Same with the white shirts, just because I assume that it's not going to have a, a whole lot of value attached to it. My camera found this this uh, stack of papers terribly important and fascinating right there. Apologies for that. So look through the stuff that uh, doesn't doesn't pop out as, as being obviously worth anything. Okay, that's the end of the haul. And yeah, keeping the gears going, getting into a rhythm in terms of uh, getting really fast at photos and listing, et cetera, et cetera, which I know goes against advice that I've previously given about taking your time listing, but uh, my opinions change a lot when it comes to reselling as I change. Um, so I appreciate you watching and uh, uh, what's sold video to come. Good luck.